everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this super simple, super cute um, bow holder. This is using one inch ribbon and you need 60 centimetres for your length and you can use either a little felty, like a little embellishment at the bottom, or alternatively you can make little top and tail bows and I've just done a little tux bow with tails and a little tux bow here. Let's just move this one to the side. And I've got my ribbon ready. And I have heat sealed both ends. There you go. And I've got some matching or coordinating 9mm here. And that's 12 centimetres and you make a loop like so put that in the middle of your bit here you can glue this but I stitch excuse my plaster I've hurt my finger yesterday just stitching the loop firmly this is what they're going to use to hang or hook that loop onto something a wall a nail on a wall or on the back of a bedroom door hanger or something like that so the more secure it is the less likely it is to and always make sure you heat seal you yeah, because you don't want them to fray either okay so like i said Few stitches. Like so, so you can get this. So like I said, that's for them to hook hook it on. And then I'm gonna do a little cute tailed tux bow at the top, and you just want a touch of glue here on that stitch that we just put in. And hold that down like so. so that's your top and then on your bottom again you just want to touch a glue on the center of the back here just there <coughs> work out your center and you want to pinch that just to the bottom like so. Now if you're selling these I would tell you customers these are ideal for smaller lighter bows. I wouldn't naturally say you want any sort of heavy clay bows or anything like that on them. So let me just see if I can find some smaller ones. Ah. So they're perfect for things to hang things like this on. Like your little Things like this. So you can see the whole thing. Get my glue strings. Like I said, they're perfect for putting little little bows and clippies on like this, but they don't they're not great for heavier clay or heavier resin resin bows. So that's a version with light little bows and you can use any sort of one inch ribbon bows that you, you personally like. Pinwheels look really cute as well. Like I said you could do a double tux, anything you personally uh, personally like. And then using your felty and here's a loop I already started earlier. <coughs> to do your felties it's almost exactly the same thing. And the difference is, is I've got some padded cut out matching felt for the backs. So we've got our little felty and I'm just going to glue a bit of glue here. Just there where my fox is going to sit. Work out where you 
want him to go. Like so, press down. And then I'm going to turn him over. As you can see, I've worked out how much felt I need. And if I set that felt right behind Mr. Fox, it can't be seen from the front. So, no, I don't know. I'm just going to trim down that edge a little bit. Just to touch because we don't want to see that. And again, just a bit of glue here where the felt's going. Not too much. Don't want it to squeeze out there. Sides. And this just helps tidy up the bow holder just a little bit as well. So there you go. So there's your top of your bow holder on that one. And then make sure you've got your front end of your ribbon like this. And I've got this little red heart embellishment and we're going to just stick that to the bottom of our ribbon there. Like so, and then like I said, we've got the heart faulty, and all I've done is I cut around the heart shape with a bit of felt, and we're just going to glue that to the back so we can't see this because I don't think that looks very, very um, attractive or professional. So like I said, you can leave them like that, but like I said, this just gives it a like slightly nicer finish. <clears throat> I'm just going to cut down the edge of that because we don't want that to be able to be seen behind. Okay. And the same that side. Just trim that side down a little. Okay. We can't see the orange felt behind, so like I said, that just gives it a slightly nice finish. Like I said, hides the ribbon edge. And there you go. And that is how to make some very, very simple, but very cute, basic bow holders. in one inch ribbon okay it's got a little fox a little princess felty and some bows and there you go like i said they don't take very long at all they don't require an awful lot of ribbon they're great for like i said little extras for when you're shipping things out and like I said they're quite cute when they've got all their little bows hanging down as they're hanging up on the wall and like I said if you feel like you need a bit more strength on the back of these then all I would do is the same as we just did with the fox is work out a little bit of felt or a felt circle whichever you prefer that's just under your one inch width just like that and then all I would do is make sure you can't see it over the top of your bow and like I said just glue that behind for an extra little bit of support at the top of your bow holder and sort of hide that stitch just there okay just do it now I'll
There we go, the stitch is all hidden. So I'm just going to trim that down just over the edge. There, so you can't see it. There we go. A little bit of extra support, the stitch is all hidden. And there's our little bow holders. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, I also have a Facebook group under the same name. So pop over and join me over there as well for extra tips and any extra advice that you might need. And thanks for watching. Bye.